Hello pretties, my name is Phoebe and welcome to Vips Real. So today I'm doing a book review. So this is the book that I read in the month of January, which is The Woman in Cabin 10. Um, this year for 2020, I gave myself a challenge to do um, read one book every month. And I know this is January, so I go like, it's March already, where's February? Sorry. <laughs> so uh, I'm currently reading Rich People Asians for the month of February. I know it's already March, I'm behind, I'm aware, but I'm fairly confident that I will be finishing this book in March and I should be able to finish the other book in March as well. So for next month, I will have two book reviews. Um, so for New Year's resolution, I'm already failing. But I, I do plan on catching up. I do plan on finishing this in March and the other one. So for now, I only have the book review of The Woman in Cabin 10. So um, Christina Chang, she's a YouTuber here in on YouTube, because I just said that. And she started this uh, Facebook pro, uh, group that's called A Noble... Oh, goodness. What is it called? Oh, God, that's going to drive me crazy. Um, a Noble Idea. There you go which is essentially a book club. And in there, they chose the book, The Woman in Cabin 10, which I personally voted against, but it's just not my thing. Uh, murder mysteries are not my thing, which this that's what it is. It's a murder mystery. I will say that for a murder mystery, this was more tamed than what I was expecting. I was expecting to be more twisty and turny, and it wasn't, um, which is okay. It was very straightforward. I... Instead of a murder mystery, I would say this was more about a girl who was struggling with PTSD after um, traumatic experience, but that's all right. Overall, I did enjoy the book towards the end. It was very slow paced and the first couple of chapters were extremely tough to get through. I would not have recommended them, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Overall, I did enjoy the book and towards the end, I did like it. It was a happy ending, technically. It was a little rough to get through at first. Um, the character development was there, and I did like that. Um, it kind of put me in someone's shoes, a very extreme situation that I don't think I ever would see myself in. So I did appreciate that for what it was. And overall, I did enjoy the book. I don't know that I would recommend it, but to be honest, I do think that would be personal preference. This is just not my cup of tea. I am more of a sci-fi, rom-com kind of girl, uh, action-packed things, and this was not it. This was more of a thriller. It was very slow-paced, you kind of slow build-up to it, and it's just not my thing. <laughs> I am more of like a Harry Potter, Hunger Games, um, Darkest Minds kind of girl. That's the kind of books that I'm into, which is, I know geared towards young adults. That's just what I like. I guess I never grew out of it. So yeah. <laughs> um, overall, I did enjoy the book. I will give it a, I will give it a six out of 10. It, it exceeded my expectations for what it was. Overall, I still didn't fall in love with it it's just not my thing but here it is i am going to put uh christina chang's uh youtube channel below in the description you want to check her out she does a lot of like makeup project pans you're probably familiar with her if you're watching my channel for my makeup videos you're probably already familiar with her so i'm going to put her down anyway and she also does like harry potter videos here and there so i feel like me and her have a long comment like if i met her in person we'll probably become bffs or at least that's what i think in my mind that's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just put her channel down below and I highly do recommend The Woman in Cabin 10. I am probably going to end up sending it to half price books, but that's okay. It's just, it's not meant to stay my collection of books. Thank you for coming and have a good day. Bye, pretties.